தமிழ்தாய் வாழ்த்து I, I invite the vice chancellor to deliver the welcome address and present the annual report on the academic achievements of the vistas during the academic year 2022 and 23 most respected chief guest of today professor t g sitaram chairman all india council for technical education government of india our beloved chancellor kalai mamani dr aisari k ganesh respected recipients of honoris causa awards other distinguished dignitaries on the dais of the dais invitees the young graduates the medal winners dear parents faculty members non teaching staff members and friends from press and media a very good evening to you all i am very pleased to welcome you all to the 14th annual convocation of wales institute of science technology and advanced studies vistas deemed to be university a multidisciplinary university offering varied and innovative courses in emerging areas on behalf of the chancellor members of the executive council and on my own behalf i am extremely happy to extend a warm welcome to the chief guest of this convocation respected professor t g sitaram chairman aicte government of india who has graciously consented to honor us by his august presence and to deliver the convocation address to our young graduates i extend a warm welcome to our chief guest professor t g sitaram took over as the chairman all india council of technical education government of india in december 2022 he obtained his b.e civil engineering from university of mysore masters from indian institute of science bangalore and phd from university of waterloo ontario canada he has started his career as a lecturer at university of waterloo soon after his phd and later moved to university of texas at oxin Texas USA <laughs> Professor T G Sitaram was the director of Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati Assam for 3 and a half years from July 2019 to December 2022 He was a senior professor in the Department of Civil Engineering Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and served for nearly 30 years He has served as either a visiting or honorary professor at many universities in countries such as japan canada usa hong kong australia and republic of china over the last 35 years he has published about 500 technical papers and 20 books he has a google scholar h index of 53 and i10 index of 149 with more than 8614 citations he has guided 40 phd students 35 master students 25 post doctoral students and several thousand industry professionals he has filed five patents executed more than 120 consultancy projects 
and two startup companies to his credit. He was listed in the world's top 2% of scientists for the most cited research scientist in various disciplines by Stanford University in 2021, in 2020, as well as in 2022. He was a part of an eight-member expert panel set up to supervise Ram Temple Foundation laying work for Sri Ramajanma Bhumi Tirtha Shetra at Ayodhya. He has received many awards, and to name a few, he was a recipient of IGS Kukelman Award for his lifetime contributions in geotechnical engineering in 2015. He was a recipient of Professor Gopal Ranjan Research Award from IIT Roorkee for his excellent contributions to geotechnical engineering in, in the country. In 2014, IASE has conferred Amalia and Vimala Reddy Lecture Award on him in 2014. He was the recipient of Sir C. V. Raman State Award for Young Scientists, Government of Karnataka in 2002. He has delivered many talks on implementation plan and best case studies of national education policy implementation across universities and institutions. Respected sir, you are gracing this function in spite of your very busy schedule of activities. Once again, I welcome you wholeheartedly to this function, sir. I extend a warm welcome to our beloved founder chancellor, Dr. Aisari K. Ganesh, a visionary whose dedication for the cause of higher education and inspiring leadership has enabled this university to impart quality education in many disciplines in this part of South India. His leadership and determination has propelled VISTAS to attain many milestones rapidly. The university has been growing fast in all facets under the dynamic leadership of our chancellor. My hearty welcome to the pro-chancellor planning and development, the pro-chancellor academic, the Vice President of Wales Group of Institutions, the members of the Executive Council, the members of the Academic Council, officials of the University, and the faculty members of VISTAS. It gives me immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to Dr. P. Veera Muthuvel, Project Director, Chandrayaan 3, ISRO Government of India, Thiru Ram Charan Konidela, Indian actor, film producer, and entrepreneur. Dr. G.S.K. Velu, Founder, Chairman and Managing Director, Trivitron Healthcare, and Padmashri Sharat Kamal Achanna, Indian professional table tennis player, Chennai, the dignitaries who will be receiving their honorary doctoral degrees. I extend a warm welcome to the graduates and the medal winners, their parents, the media representatives, and all other invitees who are present here to make this function a memorable one. I am also availing this opportunity to present a brief report on the most important achievements of VISTAS during the academic year 22-23. I am happy to inform the August gathering that the university maintains a high growth rate and currently there are 20 schools with 48 departments of study and research. The university at present has about 15,626 students and 861 faculty members and more than 100 programs of study are being offered. All the UG and PG programs are approved by University Grants Commission and other statutory regulatory agencies like AACTE, Pharmacy Council of India, Bar Council of India, National Council for Teacher Education, and Directorate General of Shipping. I am happy to inform that VISTAS has been accredited with A grade by NAC. 11 of our programs have been received accreditation from NBA. VISTAS has been accorded 12B status by University Grants Commission. In the NARF ranking in 2023, School of Pharmaceutical Sciences is in 47th rank. Innovation is in 51 to 100 band. The university is in 101 to 150 band, and overall it is 151 and 200 band. Also, VISTAS has secured diamond rating in QSI card. I would like to take this opportunity to briefly share with you a few selected achievements of VISTAS during 22-23. In this convocation, a total of 4,555 graduates will be receiving their degrees 
which includes 3,189 undergraduates, 977 postgraduates, and 329 PhD scholars. The vibrant research ecosystem is evident from the fact that during the last five years, faculty members have published around 7,139 research articles in the international and the national journals, including 5,494 Scopus and 1,645 in other indexed journals. Besides publishing 809 books, the university has filed so far 404 patents and 134 patents have been granted. The university has completed 32 research projects and 28 are ongoing and are funded by UGC, Ministry of Earth Science, Department of Ayush, DST, AACTE, DRDO, MSME. With a total grant of 12.68 crores, the university has earned rupees 2 crores through consultancy projects. Vistas provides Wales Research Fellowship to 25 research scholars every year. The university has a central instrumentation facility having instruments worth of 11 crores, which not only caters the needs of our institution, but also supports the requirements of scholars and faculty members from neighboring institutions. The library houses a collection of 1,35,000 books, 2,05,000 e-books, and 13,055 back volumes, more than 374 periodicals, and 12,535 e-journals have been subscribed during the and international conferences and presented 744 papers. About 176 national, international conferences, symposia, workshops were organized by various departments of VISTAS. The university has signed 65 MOUs with the institutions and industries. The university strictly adheres to the norms prescribed by all statutory bodies like UGC, AACTE, BCI, PCI, and others for the smooth functioning of the university. As a part of the national service scheme, both the faculty and students of VISTAS are conducting medical camp, dental camp, eye camp, AIDS awareness program, voters awareness program, and computer awareness program at adopted villages. VISTAS is officially selected as a member institute of Unnat Bharat Abhiyan program. Students are encouraged to organize cultural and sports events as teamwork. In 2023, our students have participated and won 57 tournaments at national level. Wales scholarship admission test is conducted every year to help deserving students with scholarships. 279 merit scholarships to the tune of 23 lakhs and 40,000 have been provided to the students who have secured first rank in semester examinations in 22-23. Up to 20% fee concession in tuition fees is given to socially and economically backward students each year. 120 students were admitted and sports quota, and they were provided with free boarding and lodging and full tuition fee waiver in the year 22 and 23. We not only shape the students as employable, but also groom them as an employer by providing required training through vibrant career advancement cell. Thus, our achievements and encouragements in all spheres of activity increase year by year. Finally, I appeal to all the outgoing graduates to be in touch with your alma mater. and your teachers whenever you are very much. I declare the 14th annual convocation of VISTAS open. I invite Professor Dr. T.G. Sitaraman, Chairman, All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE, to deliver the convocation address. Wanna come? The 
founder chancellor dr ishari k ganesh dr preeta ganesh vice president wells group of institutions dr s sriman narayanan vice chancellor dr a jyoti murugan pro chancellor planning and development dr arati ganesh pro chancellor and all the distinguished guests who are going to receive honorary doctorates today padma shri shri sharath kamal achanta indian professional table tennis player dr gsk velu founder chairman managing director trivitron healthcare chennai dr p veeramuthuvel project director chandrayaan tiru ramacharan k indian actor and film producer entrepreneur and all the deans faculty members students and their parents ladies and gentlemen it gives me great pleasure to be here on the 14th annual convocation of wells institute of science and technology and advanced studies vistas i extend my heart heartfelt congratulations to all the young graduates who are receiving their degrees today and going to embark on a new chapter of their lives which is going to be filled with lots of challenges and also achievements this occasion friends is indeed a significant milestone not only in the for the university as well as for your lives as the journey of many of you professional and personal growth will take a quantum leap after uh, you are getting your degree here the young people should know we, we are in a disruptive world technology has disrupted the way we live friends today you should not consider that you are graduating and end of my study this is not your end of your academic journey instead actually it begins now because today with the kind of disruption happening skilling is going to be part and parcel of all of us not only you all of us have to get skilled reskilled upskilled otherwise we are not going to be relevant anymore friends today onwards keep your mind open to explore engage and experience something new and innovative you need to look at you know many skill courses to be skilled because the day has come friends industry will not ask you what degree you have got they will ask you what skill you are going to bring to table for in their company so you have to develop the critical skills particularly you know whether it is domain skills or digital skills or critical thinking skills for doing this you need to keep upskilling reskilling yourself with new technologies and ideas which mark a space for yourself in the world of rapid evolution friends the world is constantly changing evolving the challenges you are going to encounter may seem daunting i urge you all of you to take an approach to adopt yourself the, for the change it is not just you i think many of us also have to adopt for a fast changing world friends all of you know that artificial intelligence is no more a a future technology it's a technology which is already with you changing the way we live let me give you one incident how artificial has changed our life or our job profiles and also the future of work artificial intelligence has become now part and parcel of many developments in every sector and every field you name 
So my own experience, you know, when I joined AICTE, one day I thought, let me ask what AICTE does to these AI chatbots. How many of you here have used the chat GPT? I think you need to settle down. All of you have to settle down. How many of you use the chat GPT? So quite a, quite a good number is there. See, I asked chat GPT to write a poem about AICT. You know, when, I, when it, two seconds, believe me, in two seconds, a beautiful poem was, came out. And I asked that to be translated to Hindi. A Hindi poem is also ready in another two seconds. Why I am trying to tell you this story is, so we always thought that a poet's job or a poet, even if I asked a poet to write a poem about AICT, it would have taken minimum six months to understand what AICT does and then he has to pen it. But today this machine is doing at a judge speed of 10 seconds anything you would like to do. Friends, note that we have also been told the job of a poet cannot be acquired. It is not an acquired skill. It always comes through your genes. Either you must you have your forefather must be a poet. Okay? Or even if you want to acquire, you need to slog for a large number of years to become very successful. Friends, I also took a delegation on semiconductor to Taiwan. There, one project of the student caught my eyes. Now, he has developed a robot with AI built in to compose the music and play a guitar. Please note this, a poet, a musician job is also being taken by these machines. And it does it in such a speed which you cannot believe it. Believe me, it doesn't copy anything. Even if you search through a plagiarism software, you cannot find any of these what AI chatbots give you. Very original. So, similarly, you might have already seen Soro is taking over many of the artist's jobs. So, I have given you an example of a poet, musician, an artist is taken by these artificial intelligence machines doing at a speed which you can never imagine. Friends, this is what is changing the world. So, anything based on memory or the speed at which you calculate cannot be superseded than the machines. We will be behind only because these machines does it at a fast pace. The world is so fast changing. The skill sets, we always thought that it is going to take a lot of time to acquire or it has to come through your genes has also been mastered by these machines. So in this world, we are all living. So this is the world, at that time, you are also graduating. So you have to remember, your degree is no more relevant. You need to skill, otherwise, you will be irrelevant from tomorrow itself. So please remember that, All India Council for Technical Education, I think I don't know how many of you know, started as an advisory body in 1945 to then British government. The first five chairmen of AICTE were the cabinet ministers of higher education, particularly that time it is the MHRD, Ministry of Human Resources and Development. The first full-time chairman came in 1993. So that was Professor Khanna from IIT Roorkee. So why I am trying to tell you is, this body is trying to set up standards and norms for engineering education. So can you, I will, I will give you some statistics which will really mesmerize you. Today, India is the largest engineering graduates producing country in the world. Just to tell you the numbers, see today we have 23 IITs graduating 15,000 graduates. And all NITs, all of you know, National Institute of Technology, 31 of them are there, graduate another 20,000 students. That means 35,000 students from these premier institutions. And from all the second grade, third grade engineering colleges called to be, 
we produce 1.3 million engineers every year friends you cannot see any place any company in the world without an indian graduate working in that company further today any company technology company you name it has to be an indian diaspora heading that company whether it is google microsoft all of these engineers at least you know one of their degrees they have studied in these kind of colleges friends today we have veeramuthu vel project director of chandrayaan a success of chandrayaan all of you know the, we are the only country who are able to put on the south pole okay and even after that an american private company failed they tripped and who are these engineers you ask including chairman of isro are all graduates of institutes like wells well said so what it tells you friends engineering and management education in the country is very very advanced not only in terms of numbers in terms of quality the successes of these engineers have brought to the nation is mind boggling friends let me also give you some statistics on how we are doing as a country in this area of science and technology friends we are the number 4 country in the world in produ- in in terms of production of research papers and our citations is also very high in terms of patents again we are number 4 in the world in terms of startups see in 2016 we had about 400 startups today we have 125000 startups out of which 125 companies are unicorns bringing a market capital of 450 billion dollars and out of these 450 billion dollars one fourth of this market capital has flowed from outside to india so all of these have made india as the fifth largest economy in the world ladies and gentlemen and is going to be in couple of years the third largest economy in the world and an indian has to be proud on this day particularly those who are graduating with technology and management degrees you are opportunities are plenty but what you need to do is you need to be ready to take risks in your life do a startup be an entrepreneur and create jobs and you should create you should be a job creator than job seeker so these are the terminologies when we were students we never even heard about it and today's world has changed ladies and gentlemen it has made you know you as a very important person to the whole world so we are the youngest nation in the world with 500 million young people aspiring to really lead the world and this is what we have, our country is very proud of what the things which we have created in last 5 to 10 years is mind boggling whether it is physical infrastructure or public digital infrastructure the largest public in digital infrastructure is in our nation for example let me give you starting with aadhar aishman bharat and many of such digital public infrastructure world is really mesmerized you know how such large database can be kept and during the covid 19 now we might have administered close to about 350 crore vaccination 350 crore vaccination two and half vaccine for 130 crore people our own country so this kind of you know all of you are able to download your vaccination certificates through even whatsapp in a fraction of a second imagine kind of such kind of digital public infrastructure today we are the largest the largest number of upi transaction country in the world 45% of the upi transaction which happens in the world happens in india we have forgotten on our wallets credit cards all happens through phone pay g pay and these things friends note the kind of development what we have created is mind boggling so we are going to be the leaders of the world developed india 
is no more a dream ladies and gentlemen even the kind of infrastructure whether it is highways roadways and uh, railways and ports i think the kind of work what is happening soon we are going to be the largest economy in the world that is not just that what is very important you have to be also have a human value that's what we saw during covid 19 please note that not only we were able to vaccinate all our 130 crore people we were able to even give donate to 100 countries our vaccination this is an excellent goodwill the nation has shown to the world friends you also have to be a giver so not being just a vishwa guru is enough you have to be a vishwa data that is our culture indian culture that's you should not forget therefore students should develop the human skills today that's very very important along with your technical knowledge i would like to highlight that you know we at aicte actually already doing the human value courses for all our engineering graduates from last four years you know large number of teachers have been trying to conduct how to really think about yourself and what is your inner strength and how you can contribute to the society that's the first thing we teach you than engineering graduate <coughs> friends we are also simultaneously you now started very early whether it is an internet of things blockchain robotics quantum computing data sciences how this kind of engineering colleges called to be second and third grade became very very famous the reason is large number of young people want to excel and particularly there is lot of talent ladies and gentlemen in the rural part of india this talent has to be nurtured and given an opportunity that's what these private engineering colleges as well as the government programs has given our young people today we can proudly say we could be the engineers of the whole world fine to succeed in the transformative world and being the job givers you have to do many things that first and foremost is you need to take risks and that is only possible <coughs> with young people like you friends there are a lot of programs all india council for technical education provides you for skilling reskilling and we have many scholarships many you know programs to train teachers many such activities are continuously being done to up upskill and upgrade the technical education forum in, in the country so today we are very proudly we can say aicte has come a long way in delivering this technical and management education and this year we have also taken BBA and BCA and BMS courses under our fold so that you know we can also improve the quality of technical education in this. <coughs> so at All India Council for Technical Education, our vision is to provide a transformative education to students, to create leaders, innovators and generate new knowledge for a sustainable society. So let me give you some numbers, you know, AICTE through their Institute Innovation Councils has created so far close to about 7,000 startups, generated large number of ideas, you know, new ideas, close to about 1 lakh ideas, which is in our portal, Yukti 2.0. And we are starting innovation center at 12 cities in our country to handheld every student who has an idea who would like to do a startup. 100 companies have come forward as venture capital to fund our students to do a startup. So this is the where we need to look at it. So we are also instrumental in taking technology to its best use. So today, you know, all of our approval process happens digitally, online, without any of the institutions visiting us. The second, all our textbooks even in 13 different languages, we have 
free of cost we are providing to the entire country. And you will be astonished to know our e-cum portal which hosts these textbooks. 7 lakh downloads have happened from 75 countries. That means our textbooks are seen not just by Indians across the world. And we have books in Tamil, Kannada, Telugu as well. And we have started programs to teach in mother tongue. So we also encourage all our teachers to talk to you in your own respective mother tongue. Friends, our vision is to provide transformative education and is, if at all, it is some area which you are thinking we can be a Vishwaguru that is in the science, technology, engineering and mathematics. These in the STEM areas, we are going to be the leaders and innovators and generate new knowledge for a sustainable society. We have played a tremendous role in partnering with new knowledge economy to inspire, create and move our society forward. Friends, I encourage you, particularly the all young people who are graduating today, to look at the new skilling courses and they need to get continuously skilling. Without skilling, you are not going to be successful. Those who would like to start their own companies, look at startup and entrepreneurial, take risks. Failure, don't be scared of failure. Failure will make you successful soon. So I convey my heartiest congratulations to all of you once again. And I'm very, very happy that you know, such a large number, 4,500 students today are graduating from Wellsack. I also wish you on this day, as you embark on the new chapter of yours, dare to dream, strive for excellence, and always remember that the lessons learned within this campus will always be memory for you, even after you leave this campus. You come back as an alumni, be successful and contribute back to these institutions which has given you these wings. These wings you know, which you, with which I see that all of you will fly. Once again, congratulations to all of you. And last word, you know, after this event, after receiving your degree, thank two people. You go and thank your parents and your teachers. And that's very, very important to remember them. Their contribution at this age, you may not realize how much it is important. All the very best. Congratulations. Thank the administration for inviting me to be here with you. Share some of my thoughts. Jai Bharat. Jai Hind. Namaskar. This convocation of the Vistas has been called to confer the degrees of Doctor of Science, Honorary Kasa, on Dr. P. Veera Muthuvel, Project Director, Chandrayaan 3, ISRO, Government of India. Doctor of Literature, Honorary Kasa, on Thiru Ram Charan, Pondidala, Indian actor, film producer, and entrepreneur. Doctor of Literature, Honorary Kasa, on Batma Shri, Sharat Kamal, Achanta, Indian professional table tennis player. Doctor of Literature, Honorary Kasa, on Dr. G.S.K. Velu, Founder, Chairman and Managing Director, Tripitron Healthcare, Chennai, who have been duly recommended by the Executive Council of Vistas of their contributions in the respective fields and upon the four 4,555 candidates who in the examinations recently held for the purpose have been certified to be worthy of the same. I request Dr. A. Jodi Murugan, Pro-Chancellor, PND, Dr. Arthi Ganesh, Pro-Chancellor, Academic, Dr. Pita Ganesh, Vice President, and Dr. M. Baskaran, Pro-Chancellor, 
to present the above said recipients for the award of honorary degrees <laughs> mr chancellor today we have the honor and privilege of recognizing a brilliant engineer a visionary leader and an iconic contributor to scientific research and space exploration the path taken by dr p veera muthuvel is the evidence of his commitment perseverance and exceptional success in the fields of science and technology dr p muthuviravel has obtained his bachelor of engineering degree from the university of madras master of engineering degree from nit trichirappalli and phd in mechanic engineering from iit chennai dr p veera muthuvel with his role as the associate project director for chandrayaan 2 and project director for many significant isro missions such as the nano satellite <coughs> missions indian mini satellite saral and mars orbiter mission has played a leading role in space indian exploration efforts his partnerships with global organization like nasa cnes and esa have enhanced his knowledge and expanded his range of his contributions an outstanding accomplishment of his role is as a project director of chandrayaan 3 where he skillfully coordinated and secure and he triumphant touchdown of the chandrayaan 3 ladder on the lunar surface and establishing india as the fourth nation in the world to accomplish this remarkable feat and the first to land in close proximity to the moon's south pole the success of the expedition was largely due to his careful preparation creative problem solving methods and relentless pursuit of perfection our knowledge of lunar exploration has greatly increased as a result of the scientific research carried out under his personal direction among the numerous honors and awards he has received the following are noteworthy number 1 isro team excellence award for ims1 mega tropics and mom mission then number 2 vinyan prabha sanman 2023 award by madhya pradesh council of science and technology and vinyan bharati bopal number 3 distinguished alumni award from iit madras and nit trichirappalli number 4 lifetime achievement award from savita institute of medical and technical sciences chennai and five a cash award of rupees 25 lakhs from the government of tamil nadu from the honorable chief minister of tamil nadu in recognition of the outstanding contributions in the field of research mr chancellor by reason of his eminence and attainments in the field of space science and technology and for his benevolent work benefiting society at large the executive council of vistas he is pleased to recommend to you in recognition of his immense contribution in the space research to confer upon dr p veeramuthuvel the degree of doctor of science honorary causa to which i request that he may be admitted now i invite dr p muramuthuvel project director chandrayaan to come forward to receive the honorary degree from the chancellor of vistas thank you
Tiru Koni Dela Ram Charan Teja was born on was born on 27th March 1985 in Madras to the legendary Chiranjeevi Garu and Miss Sureka Garu. He's an Indian actor, producer, social activist and entrepreneur who primarily works in Telugu cinema. He received his education at Padma Sheshadri Balabhavan, Chennai. His passion for acting blossomed during his college years, leading him to pursue it as a full-time career. Since childhood, he has been fond of horse riding and is a trained equestrian. His acting journey began with Chirita in 2007, followed by multiple blockbuster hits such as Magadira, Racha, Nayak, Yavadu, and Dhruva. In 2012, he married Ms. Upasana Kamineni, founder of Your Life and vice chairman of CSR of Apollo Hospitals Group. He is known as the mega power star in Tollywood, blending his titles from his father, Chiranjeevi Garu, the mega star, and his uncle, Pawan Kalyan Garu, the power star. In 2016, he ventured into production with Kaidi Number no. 150 and Saira Narasimha Reddy, both successful ventures under the Kony Dela production company. In 2022, Tiru Ram Charan dominated the entertainment world with the success of RRR, gaining international recognition as a pan-India star. His acting prowess, dance performances, and down-to-earth demeanor have captivated global audiences, earning him the title of Global Star. Besides his professional achievements, he's deeply passionate about social responsibility. He became a part of his father, Chiranjeevi's charitable trust, which operates in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and other regions of India. The trust has organized frequent blood donation camps and provided free ventilators, oxygen banks, and oxygen cylinders during the COVID-19 pandemic in India. He's also the co-owner of TrueJet Airlines and owns the Ram Charan Hyderabad Polo Riding Club, showcasing his entrepreneurial spirit beyond the film industry. Among the numerous honors and awards received by him, the following are noteworthy. Two Nandi Awards and Filmfare Awards for the films Chirta in 2008 and Magadira in 2010. South Indian International Movie Awards for the movie Rangasthalam in 2018. Filmfare Award for Best Actor Telugu for RRR 2022. And RRR currently ranks as the third highest grossing Indian film of all time. RRR has created history by becoming the first Indian feature film to win an Oscar. The Natu Natu soundtrack bagged the Oscar award for the best original song in the 95th Academy Awards in 2023. Since 2013, he has featured in Forbes India Celebrity 100 list, recognized for both his earnings and widespread popularity. Mr. Chancellor, by reason of his eminence and achievements in the film industry and for his outstanding contribution as an actor, producer, entrepreneur, and social activist. In recognition of his immense contributions, the Executive Council of Wales Institute of Science, Technology, and Advanced Studies is pleased to recommend to you to confer upon Tiru Ram Charan the degree of Doctor of Literature honoris causa, to which I request that he may be admitted. I invite Tiru Ram Charan Koni Dela, Indian actor, film producer, and entrepreneur to come forward to receive the honorary degree from the Chancellor. Dr. G.S.K. Velu was born in Aralwai Muli Kanyamuri district, Tamil Nadu, 
and completed his school education in Tamil medium from a public school. Dr. Velu has commenced a path of learning that led to him acquiring a diverse educational background. He has obtained his B-Form, Honours degree from Bits Blaney, MBA degree from Loyola Institute of Business Administration, Chennai, and PhD from Indian Board of Alternative Medicine, Kolkata. He has been a part of various global organizations gaining expertise in medical technology. Dr. Velu is the Chairman and Managing Director of Trivitron Healthcare Group, a prominent medical technology company with international manufacturing facilities and R&D setups. Chairman of Newberg Diagnetics, a global pathology brand operating in multiple countries. Mentor, director, stakeholder of Kaveri Group of Hospitals, a chain of multi-speciality hospital. Chairman of Max Vision Eye Hospital, a notable chain of high care of super speciality hospitals. Founder and director of Apollo White Dental and Apollo Dialysis, one of India's largest chains of dental clinics and dialysis centers. Chairman of FIKI, Tamil Nadu State Council, honorary consul to the Republic of Estonia in India. Dr. Velu's love for healthcare and his belief that it is a fundamental right to everyone has made him to establish Trivitron Healthcare in 1997. He was also instrumental in setting up of a chain of pathology lab metropolis. He established Newberg Diagnostics, which is an international diagnostic alliance aimed at improving public health conditions by providing cost-effective pathological services to those in need. Over the years, Dr. Velu has been recognized as a parallel entrepreneur by Forbes and a first-generation serial entrepreneur by renowned institutes and media. His leadership and business acumen have transformed private run healthcare into a pioneering medical technology company offering a wide range of healthcare solutions globally. Among the numerous honors and awards received by him, the following are noteworthy. Dr. Velu has been named as Person of the Year 2018-19 by ICR1, world's greatest brands and leaders. Trivitron Healthcare and Newberg Diagnostics have been bestowed with Innovative Business Model Award 2018 at the Times Healthcare Achievers Award. Rajiv Gandhi Gold Star Award 2014, Champion of Humanity Award by Hindustan Chamber of Commerce 2013, received Indira Gandhi Sevratana Gold Medal and Mother Teresa Sevratana Gold Medal in 2012. Dr. Velu's contributions extend far beyond business success. His contributions to healthcare during the COVID-19 pandemic through formulations of high-quality COVID-19 kits, mobile labs, and low-cost ventilators are noteworthy services. His philanthropic initiatives through MIT, that is making indigenous and transcendent relations, unveils the theme of healthy environment and tri-utrans program, PANG, focused on education, healthcare, and social welfare particularly supporting underprivileged communities and promoting education. Mr. Chancellor, by reasons of his eminence and attainments in the field of healthcare and for his philanthropic work benefiting society at large, the Executive Council of Wales Institute of Science, Technology and Advanced Studies, Vistas, is pleased to recommend to you in recognition of his immense contributions for providing quality healthcare across the globe to confer upon Dr. G.S.K. Velu the degree of Doctor of Literature, Honoris Casa, to which I request that he may be admitted. I invite Dr. G.S.K. Velu, Founder, Chairman and Managing Director, Trivitran Healthcare Chennai, to come forward to receive the honor degree from the Chancellor. Mr. Sharath Kamal is the first Indian professional table tennis player ever to become 10 times senior national champion. He occupies a special place in the country's table tennis sport through his tremendous effort and successful accomplishments. Mr. Sharath Kamal was born on 12 July 1982 
started playing table tennis at the tender age of four, trained by his father, A. Srinivasa Rao, Dronacharya Awadi, and uncle, A. Muralya Rao. He had spent his time practicing table tennis with his uncle before and after school every day. At the age of 14, Mr. Sharad Kamal turned into a professional player. Mr. Sharad Kamal began regularly representing the state of Tamil Nadu at the national level till the year 2000. It was in 2002 that the 20-year-old played his first final in the national championship, an event that led him to embark on a brilliant table tennis career. The very next year, he won his first national championship title in 2003. He, he has been the flag bearer of Indian table tennis since 2002, winning over 60 international medals in the span of 20 years, of which 13 are Commonwealth Games and medals, and two Asian Games and bronze medals. He won the first national championship for the record-breaking 10 times and represented India for four Olympic Games in 2004, 2008, 2016, and 2020. Among the numerous honors and awards he has received, the following are noteworthy. Arjuna Award for Outstanding Performance in Sports and Games by the Government of India in 2004. Padma Shri Award, India's fourth highest civilian award, was conferred on him in 2019 in recognition of his distinguished contribution in sports. Kail Ratna Award, India's highest sporting honor, was awarded by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India in 2022. His exceptional talent and dedication towards sports continue to inspire aspiring table tennis players across the country. Mr. Sharad Kamal has also been awarded as the flag bearer on the Indian continent for the opening ceremony of the Paris 2024 Summer Games, which will be his fifth Olympic Games. Mr. Chancellor, by reason of his eminent and attainments, for his achievements and contribution in the field of sports, the Executive Council of Wales Institute of Science and Technology and Advanced Studies, Vistas, is pleased to recommend to you in recognition of his immense contribution in the field of sports to confer upon him Sri Sharad Kamal Achenta, the degree of Doctor of Literature, Honorary Kasa, to which I request that he may be admitted. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Founder Chancellor of Vistas, I admit the following eminent persons 
to the degree of Doctor of Science and Doctor of Literature, Honorary Kasa. Dr. P. Veeramuthuvel, Thiru Ramcharan Kundira, Dr. G. S. K. Velu, Batmashri Sharat Kamal Achanta. And in token thereof, you have been presented with this diploma and I authorize you to wear the robe ordained as the insignia of your degree. Let the candidates be now presented. Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. C. Dhanasegaran, present unto you the following candidates under various disciplines of engineering, pharmacy, MBA, MCA, and physiotherapy to receive their degrees and gold medals who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the same. Juveria Thaj F, Bachelor in Physiotherapy, Trishant Bait, B, Computer Science and Engineering, Thumaru Srinu, B, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Tamil Bharati S, B, Mechanical Engineering, Naveen Kumar J, B, Civil Engineering, Sagitya S, B, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Gokulakishna S, B.E. Automobile Engineering, Jay Prakash A, B.Tech Petroleum Engineering, Varsha K, B.Tech Biotechnology, Sonia A, B.E. Biomedical Engineering, Ramya Sri S, Master of Business Administration, Ganavadi Subramanian M, MBA Logistic and Supply Chain Management, Sweta K, MBA Business Analytics, Sweta K, MBA Integrated 5 Years, Harini P, Master of Computer Applications, Praveen Kumar N, ME Construction Engineering and Management, Gridharan M or Computer Integrated Manufacturing, Jerry Chris Beton J, ME Automobile Engineering, Rebokal M, Master of Physiotherapy, Sandhya A.M. Form D. Doctor of Pharmacy. Sugita Vasini R. M. Form Pharmaceutics. Marina Juliet A. M. Form Pharmaceutical Analysis. Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. K. Kalaiwani, present unto you the following candidates under various disciplines of science and commerce to receive the degrees and gold medals who have been certified after examination to be duly qualified to receive the same. US Sri, BCom Computer Applications. Payal, BCom Corporate Secretaryship. Raja Priya, BCA Bachelor of Computer Applications. Farin Nisha, BAC Computer Science. Paindamil Raghavi, BSc Biotechnology. Shreen Farzana, B.Sc. Microbiology, Aruna Chalam, B.Sc. Biocomputing, Swami, Swami Nadan, B.Sc. Chemistry, Akash, B.Sc. Information Technology, Sai Ganesh, B.Sc. Aviation, Jagadish, B.Sc. Maritime. Vigneshwaran, B.Sc. Aeronautical Science. Kirtana, B.Sc. Computer Science. Monika, B.C.A. Cloud Technology. Srinivas, B.C.A. Data Science. Meenakshi, MSc Biotechnology. Sneha, MSc Pharmaceutical and Analytical Chemistry. Sai Ramya Dashini, MSc Information Technology. Praveena, MSc Computer Science. Anuja Sri, MSc Chemistry. Ritika, MSc Immunology and Microbiology. 
Jonathan Thomas, MSc Biochemistry. Kavita S, MSc Mathematics. Vinodini, MSc Software Technology. Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. A. Sivaganesan, present unto you the following candidates under various disciplines of law, arts, mass communication, hotel and catering management, and education to receive their degrees and gold medals who have been certified after the examination to be duly qualified to receive the same. Kirtana Radha Krishnan, BBA, Darshini M, Become General, Akshaya VM, BBM, Jeeva Ganesh, BSc Visual Communication, Sinu Karthik V, BSc Hotel and Catering Management, Rahavan, BA English, Nandini G, BA Economics, Kartikesan, BA Western Classic Music, Sahana, LLB, Kartikeyan G, MSc Hotel and Catering Management, Rishi Devarajan J, MSc Visual Communication, Shamala V, MSc Yoha, Mubina Banu, MA English, Narendran Manoj, LLM, Constitutional Law and Administrative Law, Sadia Sharif, LLM, Corporate and Commercial Law, Aruna Lishmi Narayan and Geeta, B.Ed. Biological Science, Saumia SM, B.Ed. Computer Science, Shalini G, B.Ed. English, Subhiksha, B.Ed. Mathematics, Nidila E.M., B.Ed. Physical Science, Daisy F, B.Sc. B.Ed. Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. Kanchan Mondal, B.Sc. B.Ed. Chemistry, Botany and Zoology. Mr. Chancellor, I present unto you seven endowment prize awardees who have secured first rank in the respective schools. Sri Aisari Velen Memorial Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for my management studies goes to Ravi Kumar Suchitra. <coughs> Dr. MGR Birth Centenary Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for School of Computing Sciences goes to Agnes Rusalia, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for School of Engineering goes to Srinija, Wales Alumni Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for School of Pharmacy goes to Sakundala, Mrs. Pushpa Aisari Valen Memorial Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for School of Mass Communication goes to Girish Shah. Dr. Ambedkar Memorial Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for School of Law goes to Ravena. Ratan Tata Endowment Cash Prize of Rs. 10,000 for Commerce goes to Hema Desikan.
Mr. Chancellor, I, Dr. M. Chandrasekharan, present unto you the following candidates who have been certified after the examination to be duly qualified to receive the same. Janani Varun, Computer Science and Engineering. Praveen S. Computer Science and Engineering. Praveen S. Computer Science and Engineering. Sudarshan R. Computer Science and Engineering. Gaur P. Computer Science and Engineering.